Hello YouTube, my name is Croxy and today I'm going to show you how to get the Burial Blade early now. By early, I mean you only have to be two bosses, that's Father Gascoin, and I think that's the Blood Star of Beast. After that, oh, I am really sorry, respect the dead. There we go. So like I was saying, you need to get the first chalice for this, that's all you need to do. Um, this is the chalice. You get it after beating the Blood Star of Beast, so that's technically just two bosses. You don't even have to beat the Cleric Beast to get this. You just beat Father Gas Coin, go through Old Yarnum, and then you get this chalice. Then after you get this chalice, now, one thing I forgot to mention is that you need PS Plus for this. If you don't have PS Plus, you're not going to be able to search by Glyph. So PS Plus is kind of a requirement. After that, you just go to your Glyphs and type in NZZN259G. And that is the glyph for a modded chalice. Now, what is a modded chalice? It's a chalice which is made by save editing. Now, if you look up there, it says Thumerian Labyrinth. That's pr the first chalice that you get. But when we actually open it up, it's going to be kind of different. So, let's enter. Okay, so now that we've entered, it's a little bit different. You'll be like, what? This doesn't look like a Thumerian chalice, because Thumerian is all blue and stuff. No, this is not a Thumerian chalice, this is Lower Lorin, if I'm not wrong. So this is a Depth 5 chalice, which means if you're going to come here at level 20 or something, you're probably going to get wrecked. So you just want to run everything that I show you and make your way to the Burial Blade. Also, try to come with no Echoes at all, because you're going to die. God, these enemies do a lot of damage at low levels. I've tried it out before. So, I is advice coming in with the no echoes. If you can actually... God damn it, I suck. Okay, so if you can actually kill all these guys, there is a farming spot here, which is really, really great for low-level players. You come here, stay next to this door, and just wait for all the spiders to collect. There's going to be an infinite amount of spiders collected in front of this door. And they cannot get you because all the doors that they come out from are locked. So all you gotta do is this, and just open your weapon out. Now I'm gonna in two hits, but at a lower level you may take three or four. But look at that, every spider gives you 1200 echoes. And this is all just after the second boss. That means this is the most efficient farming way up until this point, if you can just manage. Just get the hunter's axe or maybe the threaded cane, I don't know. Any weapon should do. You should kill them in f about five hits, maybe six if you're really low on damage or anything like that. Anyway, so that's about the farming. Now, back to the burial blade part. From here, you just run to the left straight. And the reason why you want to do that is because this guy... Okay. That's weird. Usually, there's a guy standing here who shoots you with a cannon. I don't know where he went. But he's going to be there, for sure. I just don't know why he's not there. That's weird. Now, when you come to this door, there's going to be tons of spiders piled up on the door. So, you want to wait for some of them to attack. Because if you go there, they're going to one-shot you any time of the day. So, just go there, quickly open the door, and roll back. Now, if you've played... Oh, God, I got hit. If you've played any Call of Duty game before, zombies or anything like that, you'll know that just treat these guys as zombies. And you want to train them. Make a train and make them go all around this place. So, when you actually run through the door, it's going to be clear, and you're going to have to deal with nothing. I'm going to kill this bitch, because I don't care. You'll have to just run past her. She's going to take, like, millions of hits to kill. Oh, God damn it. Where's the second bitch? How weird is this? All right, you're here. I mean, this is weird. The enemies usually don't stay in these positions. Maybe I'm just tripping or something. I'm going to heal up now. Now this guy, he gets parried really easily. Just walk up to him and just shoot. That's it. He's parried. I don't know why these guys are so easy to parry. But boom. There you go. And this, if I'm not wrong, it is the... Burial Blade! Yay! We got the Burial Blade. Now, another thing I want to point out is this is not just any Burial Blade. This is the best Burial Blade you can have. Because the Uncanny version is for physical burial blades, for any physical setup. And physical setup is all you want to run on a burial blade. No one runs arcane... Arca oh my god, I'm sorry. No one runs arcane setups on burial blades because the arcane damage is like piss poor. Look at that. 80. 
Oh, 30, sorry. 80 is the physical attack. So anyways, this is the best burial blade you can get. And you can get it really after the second boss. The only thing you want to do is run past all the shit you see. And come in with no echoes. Also, if you want to farm, I'd suggest doing it before you get the blade. Because all the doors are going to be open now. Or you could just create the chalice again. I mean, you could join it as many times as you want. It's not going to cost any materials. You just have to create the first chalice once to access this chalice. And there you go. If you have any trouble or anything getting the, any trouble getting this barrier blade, then let me know in the comments. If, you, if you're still confused on, like, how did I get the first chalice or you're new to the game or something, then I can even show you another way, like, how to get it quick at blood level 4, just so anyone can get it. Let me know if you guys, what do you guys think. And thank you for watching. That's all I can say. Respect.